What it do, y'all? Yeah, I done picked up a little work truck. A little OBS game. It ain't bad either. Scored on it too. Got a good, real good deal on it. Yep. And just gonna use it as a little work truck, though. It ain't gonna be nothing major. You know, but I do want to paint it one solid color. I'm gonna do the, do the little body work on it. You know? It's gonna be the first, vi first vehicle I probably paint and do body work on. You know, when I first bought it, uh, the back, back of it was uh, green. I just hit it with some sandable primer. Just so it can match the front. The front, the uh, hood, fenders, and all that's brand new. Whoever I bought it from must have put it back together or something. But I don't know, y'all. For 600 bucks, you can't beat it. I hit a little lick. Yeah. Bad interior ain't all that. But who cares? It's a work truck. Then it's the four door 01. I put that radio in there, though. Had it sitting around a little fine there. But yeah, I don't even, the interior ain't all that. It's straight, but I'm gonna put some leather in here. I'm go to the pick apart, find me some leather. Yeah, that shit. Here's what it is. Yep. Yeah. 600 ball, you can't beat it. Yep. Yeah. Let me crank it up for y'all. Look it. Six foot bed. Bed ain't too bad back here either. GM. I need one of these. Door handle. I gotta open it with the pliers, but they're open. Yep. 4.8 in here. Yep. Both doors open. Yeah, both back doors open. You got like 213 on here. I don't know if they changed the uh, motor on it or not. Oh, and these Denali wheels didn't come with it either, so 600, I ain't get that. I had them sitting around. The wheels and that radio I put in just because I had it sitting around. Let me pop the hood for y'all. Uh, I got to swap the bag. I'm going to let, can't let y'all not hear it. I ain't got y'all this far. I got to let y'all hear it. They see, as you see, they put a new, all this was new. Somebody must have had a little wreck or something. It don't matter. It was an old man truck, so they was using it for uh, scrapping or whatever. But I don't need it for nothing but, uh, you know, the little stuff I be doing around. Moving motors and stuff like that. A little knickknack stuff. I ain't trying to do too much in it. But yeah, y'all yeah, got me a little OBS. And I don't know, man. What y'all think? Uh, uh, should I lower the, lower the back? Because it's a two-wheel drive, you know. I mean, like I say, for 600, I ain't expecting main condition, all four-wheel drive and all that. It runs and drives so good. I think I just need some uh, U, uh, not U joint. It's a little piece. It's a two-way uh, drive shaft. So that, that piece in the middle, I think, need to be replaced because it's making noise when I'm driving. But the motor and trans shift and runs good. You know what I'm saying? The motor, well, we already know motor and trans worth more than 600 just alone. Yep. Hold on, y'all. Let me uh, swap this battery in and uh, crank this thing up for y'all. All right, y'all. We got the battery hooked up. Let's see what we got. Two thirteen on there, and the crazy thing about it, I bought it off offer up, man. The guy said it was one sixty on it when I got there. Two thirteen. I don't know if he was saying it was two one sixty on the motor. They like they don't change it or something. But it really don't matter. It's just run good. No talking. Let me let you hear what it do. You don't mind that on me. I ain't driving this. There we go.
As you hear it, the sound of an LS, baby. 4.8, 213 on the two wheel drive. The motherfucker get out too. They burn rubber. But we ain't, like I said, it ain't all that. But in the comment section, though, tell me what y'all think about. Should I lower it in the back? Should I lower it in the back? You see the front ain't, you know, I leave the front like that, but I really see how it look like it's higher in the back. It's always like that if you ain't getting right. But anyway, should I lower it in the back? Or should I raise the front up and even it with the back? Uh, let me know in the comments says what y'all think about it. But yeah, it's my little new work truck for 600 bucks. You can't beat it. Stop it. Ain't bad at all, but say, hey, little spots like this. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get all that. I might get this though too, or change it one or the other. I don't know. I'm about to try to put my creative painting skills down. See, it's gonna be the first thing I try. It's a work truck, so you can't go wrong with it. Might as well try. I don't know, I was thinking about lowering it, but I'm like, damn, I don't know. I'll make my mind up soon, y'all. Yeah, it runs so good, man. Tranny shift A1. Say the only noise I'm having is with that little piece in the middle. Let's see if I can climb and see if I can let y'all see it. Nah, not in all this grass, but I y'all get the point. Yeah. Yeah, man, it's my new little work truck. I'm gonna hang on this. People been trying to buy it too, but it ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna go on and work on it. I need it, to be honest with you. I need it. All the stuff I be into on this car stuff, and not just car stuff, just period. Ain't nothing like having a truck. Uh, yeah. As far as this clean thing, let me get on and show you. Yeah, we ain't getting no more leaky leaks. One second, y'all. Focus. You guys get there. In one second. And new gasket there. Blue rubber boy, that's the good one. It's the one you want to go with, y'all. Rubber. I'm telling you, he had that damn cardboard gasket on here that I took off, and that's why I was leaking. You ain't gonna have them problems no more. Not when you come to me and Jane Customs. But yeah, you definitely ain't gonna have that problem no more, but that's what the problem we was having. 